Hello my beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another weekly Angel Guidance episode. A lot going on as always, but before I get into it, I just want to say a massive thank you to each and every one of you that joined me for Q&A Tea Time Live and our new moon intention setting. If you missed it, please go in, check it out. It's in the Q&A um, little playlist on my homepage. So please go and check it out. I had an amazing time. I'm so ridiculously grateful for each and every one of you that took the time out of your day to join me live. Like that means a lot, especially my European viewers, because that was really late for you. Anyways, so lots going on this week. Before I get into the phases of the moon, I just want to let you know, if you're new to my channel, my name is Melanie K. Love. I'm self-love makeover artist, and I help you to learn to love yourself, flaws and all, trust your intuition, and to manifest your heart's true desires. So before we get into the phases of the moon, uh, Mercury retrograde ends on Sunday. Yes! Mercury is a planet that has that rules communication, travel, and electronics. And we've been going through this phase for the last couple of weeks, but just keep in mind that Mercury has a shadow period after it ends for a further two weeks. So I just want to keep that in mind just in case anything comes up, but I hope you guys are doing well. Anyways, so this week we're going through three phases of the moon. The first one is a continua continuation on from last week. We are moving into the solar eclipse new moon in 18 degrees of Leo. This is asking us to reset our intentions and to feel the emotions associated with what exactly we want. So that's going to be for Monday and Tuesday. Then from Wednesday to Friday, we move into the crescent moon. This is asking us to re refine our intentions and allow the universe to guide us. Then on Saturday and Sunday, we move into the first quarter of the moon, which is our action phase. So basically the first part of the week is like, okay, what do you want? Literally like spending time working exactly what you want to work on for this month. Keep in mind that this is eclipse season. So what we're working on is setting us up for the next six months, which is amazing. Then Wednesday to Friday is literally spending the time planning what you want. Like how are you going to take actions? Like literally get your calendar out and say, okay, if this is the main goal, how do I chunk it into manageable, actionable steps? And then from Saturday and Sunday, that's when, you know, the wheels get turning. So I'm going to be using today the Shadowscapes Tarot. So this is just a general reading. So please, if you're new to the MK Love Fam, just take from this what feels truly best for you. This could be one card. This could be none of the cards. It just depends where you're at. If you're struggling to listen to your intuition, please book yourself a private angel reading because I would love to give you 30 minutes of detailed clarity. It's basically the same format as what I do on YouTube, but it's just personalized to you. So if that floats your boat and you're struggling, then you are welcome to book yourself in. There's just a link in the description. All right, let's see what we need to know for Monday and Tuesday. Oh, by the way, if you haven't already subscribed, hit that red subscribe button and turn on the bell so you're notified every, every time I upload an episode. Otherwise, you're gonna miss out. Wow, there was three cards and I wasn't paying attention. Can I have one card please for that one? The Solar Eclipse New Moon. Oh, the Page of Pentacles and I'm pretty sure that's what came up Did that come up last week? It did come up last week, the Page of Pentacles. Ooh, but I think last week it actually came up in a different phase of the moon. Interesting, so I feel like this is, this is obviously resurfacing again for a reason. The Page of Pentacles, this one is interesting because last week it's just like, she knows that she's on the quest. She knows that she's on this journey, but I feel like sometimes it's just a little bit of reflection to see how far she has come. And it's like, I feel like in terms of the res the new moon, it's like, where do you want to go from here? You know, it's like, she's like, she hasn't got her head up. Um, I just heard a song. Keep your head up. Dun -dun -dun -dun. No, 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 no. Um, keep your head up. 
It's in the MK Love playlist. It actually came up in a private client's reading. Keep your mind strong. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. I will find it for you and link it. That's a very good song, by the way. I just can't remember any of the words. Um, so I feel like this is a time to be like, okay, taking stock of like, this is where I've been. Now I'm really thinking about where do I want to go? How is this going to look? How am I building my empire? How am I moving forward? Where do I want to go? You know, this is an opportunity for you to truly plan. How does this look? You know, how do you want to feel? I like to manifest in terms of feelings. I feel like that, that, I don't know. I just find that works truly best for me. So then I don't get hung up if I don't, well, that just flew out. If I don't get exactly what I want, I'm like, as long as I'm getting that feeling that I want, then everything else is fine. Wow, the other card that just came up just then is the 10 of cups. This is a beautiful balance of masculine and feminine energies. It's a beautiful like marriage, a partnership. Even though it's not two, it's 10. So it's like you have gone through a lot You've been through all the ups and the downs and now you're at a phase where you're just like in pure and utter bliss. And it's, are you dancing in the sunlight or the moonlight? It looks like the sun. Yeah, the cups represents emotions. It's like, I feel like it's like dancing. It's like going with the flow. That's what I feel. And I feel like, I feel like you're going with the flow more so because you're really reflecting on like, where exactly do you want to go? Yes, you have achieved all of this beautiful success, but where do you want to go? And I think that allowing the emotions to help guide you through the next phase is gonna be amazing. And I feel like that's gonna help you out quite a lot in this new chapter that you're navigating. All right, let's go on to the crescent moon. This is a refining stage. So what do they need to know, angels? Just one card, please. It's interesting. This energy is different from the new moon energy. Well, okay. The first card that I actually saw was the hanged man. Okay. So in the refining stage, it's like, you really need to look at things from a different perspective. Maybe as you're going to refine your intentions for exactly what you want, you're noticing that as you're working, like as you're like planning everything out, you're like, ah, this is not all fitting. Like I can't physically do everything that I'm setting out. And I feel like you really need to like go back and think about what you, like what was your big intention for the whole month, like the next phase of the moon, moon cycle, because I feel like maybe what you have planning maybe isn't enough. I feel like you've planned too much. And in order to not get overwhelmed, you need to chunk down what you want to more manageable pieces. The hanged man is like looking at things from a different perspective. So what do you, what comes up for you as soon as that I pull that card? Is there something that you're like, oh my gosh, yes. Maybe I did plan too much, but it's okay because you've got from Wednesday to Friday to figure out the details of everything that you're planning. Is it too much? Is it too little? I don't know. Could you be more ballsy? Could you be more adventurous? That's really, that, that's interesting. I love pulling cards in terms of the, the phases of the moon. All right, can we have clarity on the crescent moon, the refining stage? We've got the hangman. What else do we need to know? One card for clarity, please. Thanks. And there's possibly a second. Whoa, we got the eight of pentacles. This is like you are planning to get this success. Or maybe you have gotten to the stage and you're like, what's the next level? Now that I have achieved all of this greatness, how can I attract more like flies into my web? How can I move? I just feel like you're really thinking about how exactly can you move forward? How exactly can you move forward? It was just interesting because the hangman card literally got stuck on my table, but there's nothing on my table. That's a bit weird. I wonder what that means. Then the other card that flew out in that little bunch, the two of swords, this is three weeks in a row this card has come up. So this is, 
I, I think last week I said this was a lot about like, this is seeing love, but this is like you not like, oh, <laughs> this kind of fits in with this one here, not seeing like, they have the same kind of vibe, these two cards. Um, yeah, so for this one, I'm, I'm feeling like this is you like stuck in the fear state, or this is you not, um, or having other people, because we're still in the Mars retrograde energy, so maybe this is still you reacting, or maybe there's still more wounds, and then as you go to plan, that like rehashes other things for you. Maybe you're getting a little bit worked up. I just feel you're, like you're pissed off or someone's really pissed off at you. But it's like you're just mixing things up. I feel like because this is still in the, the Mercury retrograde, which rules communication. So it's like maybe what you're getting cranky at, about isn't really what... Like you're getting cranky about stuff that you don't even know the full picture. Like talk to the other person. I remember for me there was an issue that happened with me um, last year with somebody and I was like oh like I need you to do this and then they didn't and then I literally sent back instructions but then I realized that they couldn't understand my instructions because they were dyslexic and they were a visual learner and while I was getting frustrated with them but really the issue was that I wasn't seeing things from a different perspective so it's interesting it's like you don't have if you don't have all the information go to the source and find out exactly what the flip is going on before you start making everything up in your head and going she said that and she said that and why isn't she doing that i told her to do that but she's not listening it's like maybe you need to go directly to them maybe jump on a quick call and find out i'm like are you okay like um i'm having trouble understanding this i feel like you need to go straight to the source I feel like this is a lot to do with communication with the refining stage. Yeah. Refining your intentions. Seeing things from a different perspective. Working ways to cultivate more success. However that looks truly best for you. And then the two of swords is like you need to see love in this situation. What you're going through is a blessing in disguise. If you are trying to plan too much, it's like, okay, at least you know about it and don't get cranky at yourself because you just spent the whole like two days planning out exactly how everything's going to look. At least now you've worked it out before you even made your way through the month. All right. Let's get clarity on the action stage. This is the first quarter of the moon. So this is for Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Oh my God, the world. <laughs> I'm shocked. I'm pretty sure that's the final card. Is that the final card? 10, 20, 21. That's the final card of the major arcana. Oh my God. Okay, so it's like you have been through 20 previous major steps and journey like this is huge this comes up because you've finished a cycle i know last week we had the rebirth card but this one is now you've jumped to the this is incredible the world it's like um you've you have literally think of it like a round the world flight like, around the world around the world it's like you've You've gone around, you've been to every single country, you've experienced all the different cultures and everything that makes people so different and everything that makes people the same. And you've learned so many lessons as you've like flown around the globe. And now it's time for you to return home. However, home looks like for you. It's interesting because this is coming up in the action phase. It's like you are now, it's like either you are at the last I feel like this is completion, but it's in the action. So I'm trying to decipher is, is this like, are you at the last stage of like implementing this last phase or because it's not the new chapter just yet, because otherwise we would have had like the number one, but this is number 20, 21. I just feel like 
You know how I've been saying for like months, like we haven't started the chapter yet. I'm like, you are one. You are literally at the end of your old chapter. You are literally at the end of your old chapter. Everything that you've been going through, all the shit storms that you've had to navigate through, all the contrasts, all the blockages and everything that you have worked so hard on for however long this has been, you have finished a major cycle. Life as you have known it is about to change. Take a chance, take a chance, take a chance, take a chance. Take a chance on me. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da -ba -ba. That's chant, chance, not change. Why did I hear that song? Change, change, change. No, that's change. Why can't I hear? This is so interesting. I'm hearing all these different words. It's like, I feel like you're finishing off a cycle. You're celebrating how far you've come. And I feel like this is massive. This is like, you've had the moon to guide you. You have healed the inner demons. And now it's like, you are about to embark upon everything that we've been talking about for like three, oh, I would say three months, I could feel the new chapter starting. But I feel like from January, you knew that it was coming and you had like, you know, got all the puzzle pieces together, but it's like the puzzle is almost complete. It's like, you're just missing that final piece. Whoa. Clarity, please, angels, on the action phase of the moon and the world. What do my MK Love fam need to know? Oh my God. We've never had the world card in weekly angel guidance ever. What do we need to know, angels? Well, ooh, the page of wands. This is just allowing your soul to shine from the inside out, do the things that you love, vibrate in the frequency of love, be that beautiful person where people look up to because you're in such a beautiful place. You're not even like, think of it, it's like you're not even checking your phone to see like, oh, what's the competition doing or, or looking at someone and you feeling like terrible about yourself on social media. It's like you're just in your zone, you're in your bubble and people are really starting to take notice of who you are. They're like, Maybe these people are noticing a physical change, a spiritual change about you, or maybe it's just you feeling deep within your soul and you're like, I'm on the right path. And it's like, ain't nothing gonna break me down. Ain't nothing gonna uh, slow me down. Oh no, I got to keep on moving. It's like you've had this long-term vision for such a long time and now you're doing, I feel like now you're doing what you've always wanted to do. What does that mean for you? Can you comment in the comment section below? Let me know, what are you what are you taking action on? Because it's like you're living out your dreams. You're living out your dreams. Because dreams really do come true. Yes, they do come true, especially when you do the work. And it wasn't easy to get to where you are, but you were like, you know that it's worth it. And you are exactly where you need to be. I just had three cards. How many cards? One, two cards. Ah, we have, okay. The first one that I saw is the six of cups. <laughs> I love this for so many reasons. Do you know why? It's like that childlike energy, which is interesting because I listened to the astrology from Barbara Goldsmith. And she was saying that this solar eclipse energy is all about letting your inner child play. like doing things that like what you love just for the hell of it. And like, this is like having a tea party. Oh, speaking of tea party, you know what just arrived in the mail? From the Quirky Cup Collective. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Check out the plate. Dude, go and check her out on Instagram. She is friggin' amazing. I love her so much. You know, um, I can't remember her name, but she's just like, She's just funky and she's cute and she's Aussie. And you know, she's like an entrepreneur, like fulfilling her dreams, doing the things that she loves. And oh, I just love her work. So I'm quite happy to give her a shout out. This is not sponsored by the way. I paid for this out of my own money, but I just loved her stuff so much. And I was like, I want to support artists that are doing the things that they love. And plus I love tea and tea slash with phases of the moon hello it's a no-brainer anyway so that just reminded me of the tea when i saw the teacups in here how exciting oh my god it's like okay using your imagination 
Like, because, you know, when you look at the action phase of the moon, the affirmation is I take inspired action and allow it to flow with ease. Like, this is amazing. It's like, I don't know how else to explain it. It's like, do the things that you love, not because you want to be paid for it. Do the things you love just for the hell of it, just for the joy and the freedom of it. You know, because when you're in that vibration of doing things that you love, just for the hell of it, just because it makes you feel good, that is when you're in a state where your resistance just subsides, you know? You can't be happy and pissed off at the world or pissed off at whoever was rude to you at the supermarket. You can't be in the two, you know? It's either one or the other. So this is like, do the things that you love. Use your imagination. Your imagination is gonna guide you to exactly where you need to be. Yeah. Okay, then the other card that flew out with that one is the Four of Pentacles. This is the third week in a row this card has come up too. So this is like, I feel like this is a reminder to don't hold things too, don't grip them too tightly, you know, because it's like if you grip them too tightly, then there's resistance in your vibration. Just allow things to be. And as I said last week, the right things are going to be able to stay in your life and you don't have to work to make them stay. They will just be there and it's going to be easy. If it's tough work and you feel like you're literally in your boat paddling upstream, then it's not meant to be. So let it be. Let it be, oh let it be. Speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Yeah, just let things be, let the bullshit go. What isn't meant to serve you and it, what is, too much work you know I can speak from experience being in jobs and being in relationships that was so much work I'm like I have to work really hard I'm not saying that when you're in the right things that it's not work it is but it's so much easier it's not like you feel like you're going oh, I'm paddling up the stream and I can do this I can do this I can do this it's like you're just so exhausted but when it's easier you're you're just like have your oars in the boat and you're allowing the current to guide you slowly downstream. You know, I just feel like just stop like overthinking things. Just book that yoga class. Yeah, if you haven't finished work, who cares? Really, at the end of the day, does it really matter if you haven't finished it? You know, could you get up earlier tomorrow to finish off whatever you need to do? Like that happened to me the other day. <laughs> Especially when I was trying to get that meditation video up because I don't know if you saw a couple of weeks ago, I released a guided meditation where I filmed like literally in mother nature with the most beautiful um, water waterfalls going. And I was actually meant to upload a series, uh, an episode for life of a spiritual soul, my vlog series, but I lost all my footage and I was like, oh my God. And then I was working so much during the day to create like help guides um, for T for two, because a lot of people were having trouble booking their sessions. Ah, speaking for T for two, I just saw the screen that said two, 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 no way. And I was like, oh my God, but Tuesday's date, uh, date day, and Peter's home at 5.30 and it's five o'clock and I haven't even finished the video yet. And I was like, just, I'll just let it be. You know what? When he has a shower, I'll quickly ed um, upload it. And then I'll just wake up at five o'clock AM and, um, and then just, do the rest of the social media stuff for it. And I was like, just let it be, you know, what is more important? Yes, I love my channel. Yes, I need to work at it. But I'm like, number one, Peter comes first. Everything else is secondary as much as I love my channel and everything. It's like my relationship with him is the most important thing to me in the whole wide world. And it's like, okay, if I have to sacrifice a little, an hour extra sleep in, I will do that to, to try and make things up. So does that make any sense? I feel like this is a really great week. I feel like this is a lot of you like having to very carefully plan your new direction um, because you may need to look at things from a different perspective as you start planning it out. I feel like there's gonna be something that's gonna come up between Wednesday and Friday where you'll be like, oh shit, maybe I forgot to add this in. Oh, that's not the most important thing right now because something changed. And it's like just, just going with the flow. And I feel like you're, fit, you're, you're just about to embark. Maybe it's in the action stage. Maybe in the action stage, you're about to like launch your business. But I, I don't think you are just yet because we're still in the retrograde energy. I don't know. But it's like all about joy, finding joy in the simple things, 
finding joy in little moments. When you find that joy, that's when you're gonna be able to find inspired action. I feel like this is all about finding joy. The joy is gonna set you free. I just keep going back to this card. Yeah, having that little T for two, <laughs> having that little imagination, that imagination is gonna set you free. Maybe this is like you taking a pottery course because you're like, I've, I used to do that when I was younger, but I haven't done it in ages and I really, really love it. But you know, work got in the way, I had children, husband, all of these things. Oh, I moved overseas, you know. What did you used to do when you were younger? I feel like this is a week where you need to focus on it because it's going to set you free. But in saying that, this is coming up on Saturday and Sunday. So maybe on the weekend, you need to like schedule in an activity that is just fun, like just play and just have fun. Maybe before you've been like too rigid and maybe why this card comes in like this is like you don't need to be so rigid. Just allow it to be. Well, my loves, an amazing, beautiful week as always. So quick recap, we go through three phases of the moon. So on Monday and Tuesday, that's when I want you to plan your intentions. If you haven't already done that from the end of last week, set your, no, set your intentions and set your intentions based on the emotions. It's like, I feel pure positive energy as I'm manifesting a fully booked coaching program. You know, focus on the emotion and then the the outcome, how it's going to look. Then from Wednesday to Friday, this is when you start planning. How do you plan what you want to manifest? So if you want a one-on-one -on -one coaching program, which part are you focusing on now? For me, I'll still be going through the research phase and a lot. Oh, I have a lot of learning to do, <laughs> which is exciting. Um, and then for Saturday and Sunday, just have fun, play, do the things that you love, have that little cup of tea, maybe have a tea party outside. Oh my God, how cute would that be? Oh, I just can't stop looking at my cup. It just arrived in the mail just before the mailman just knocked on my door and I was like, who is that interrupting my filming? I was like, oh, it's okay. You got bring my tea cup. I haven't even put tea in it yet. Like it's, it's perfect so far. It's so beautiful. It is literally so beautiful. Anyways, my loves, thank you so much for watching. Comment below, let me know what came up for you because as always, I'll be responding to you from 7 a.m. till 8 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, which is basically the first hour in which this video is live. I'm like -da 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 -da, replying to you, usually in my dressing gown, on my bed with a cup of tea. Oh, and you've like visualized me drinking out of my little cup. I totally need to collab with her. She's just amazing. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Have an amazing week. Make sure you follow me over on Instagram because there's lots of delicious goodness going on. I keep you behind the scenes. That's why I ask you a lot of questions and that's where I chat the most to you guys, especially in my private messages. And yeah, have an amazing week and I will talk to you soon. Goodbye.